everybody. It's PJ and the puppies. And Monica just pooped in the potty, which of course Lacey is now disgustingly eating, which is her job, so I suppose that's one thing. But they are learning how to use the potty. We have success. We officially have puppy potty success. I saw it and witnessed it with my own eyes. And I think the puppies smell Lacey. So Lacey is definitely not having, <laughs> what did she get into? She's all covered in mud. Oh, we had rain last night. Um, it's definitely not having enough milk. She is still feeding them, but definitely not enough. So today we are going to twice a day with the goat milk and we will definitely be starting the, uh, um, the meat sooner or late, sooner rather than later. It's really gross, Lacey. Monica. So she is definitely, she's still doing a great job mothering them, but is less than excited about feeding them. So these pellets that we're using, somebody asked about that, um, is second nature dog litter. So, um, moisture locking paper pellets. I want to say it's like newspaper print or something, but don't quote me on that. Um, but the, uh, the puppies learn to use that. And then when they go to their new homes, um, we'll, we'll share beforehand the litter with their new owners. And so they can get that and it helps the transition to the, um, um, the potty training better. And then what some people do is they actually put that stuff outside in the area where they want the dogs to go to the bathrooms for easier cleanup, and then the dogs learn to go in a specific area. So, um, these, uh, they're flooring, just so you guys know. I have um, more on order, and I was hoping that they were going to arrive before we put this second one on because we've been washing and alternating, but they haven't gotten here yet. Um, do you have another toy for them? And so uh, hopefully that's coming today or tomorrow because these are getting really dirty. And I don't want them to have to, it's too slippery for them on the, on the tarp flooring. Hi, everybody. So Jade has a busy, busy time because she has to now feed the puppies twice a day the goat milk. And in the next day or so, um, I'm not going to bother giving them a bath until these new, the new mats come in. But as soon as the new mats come in, they are going to be, um, they are going to be getting their baths. Are you going to go potty, Rachel? No, you're just going to climb in. <laughs> Again, one of the things that if you ever raise puppies that you want to do is make sure that you don't solve all their problems for them. You want them, if they're struggling to do something, you want them to be able to learn to do it on their own. Um, you know, if like a puppy's struggling to get over something that they should be able to get over, don't just come in and rescue them and, and lift them up and over. Because they need to learn. I'm so proud of you. Um, can you write down that Monica pooped in the litter just so we know? I'm so proud of you. You're so smart. <laughs> yes, you're smart too, Phoebe. I'm warming up that goat milk for you. Warming up that goat milk. Right, Rach? <laughs> so, probably about three days ago, maybe, maybe a little, I didn't write it down. Maybe a little bit longer. Um, their fur started getting... Um, I don't want to say coarse. Coarse implies bad, and it wasn't that, but their their fur started changing. Um, it was a little rougher. I don't even want to say wirier. That's not the right word. But um, it just started changing, and uh, it's so soft right now. Like it made another change again. <laughs> We're so playful. Who's coming to say hi to me, Phoebes? Such a good girl. Yes, 
you're a good girl too. Hi. You're a good girl too. <laughs> Big yawn. Are you sleepy, Chandler? <laughs> They're all definitely finding their voices. <laughs> Oh, I love you. Don't you think they're much softer today than they were yesterday? Yeah. Oh, I do. I think they're definitely. So, um, these next couple days will have a lot of big changes. They'll be getting their first baths, they'll be being introduced to meat. <laughs> Um, I'm going to take them outside for the first time in the next couple days, let them experience grass, um, and run around, and run around outside. I was waiting for them all to be, like, all up on their feet all the time, and I think that's probably happening today. I don't see anybody struggling getting up on their feet. <laughs> Phoebe's trying And it was just mode, like, a day ago. So. Yeah. So, we'll do that. Oh. What? It is sunny though, you don't want it to be too hard on their eyes. There's no super bright light. Okay. So we'll figure out a good day and do that soon. He's <laughs> licking my hand. <laughs> Back there. Joey, you goofball. Just because I'm really good with my hand doesn't mean you can eat my finger. Nope. So they are all doing so, so well. Lacey. What? No. No. Mm -mm. In fact, it's better if she's gone. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Miss Phoebe. Miss Phoebe. Is that a good thumb? Is that a I good know, they're thumb? all sucking on my thumb. That's because they're getting their teeth. Um, Janessa's bath is what I was wondering about. How soon should puppies get their bath? So I'm not, um, you know, there, there's, uh, mom usually does a really good job washing them. Um, so as long as mom's doing a really good job, which she still is, um, then I don't worry about doing it, um, early. So, you know, there's, there's really no reason. Um, they are completely looked clean. I get, always get, um, once we start introducing the raw meat to them, and it's not like I'm giving them a bath every time after they, they eat their raw meat, um, I just, I feel a little bit better and more careful if I'm, uh, if I'm doing it. But there's, there's no, and unless there's a need, there's no need, if that makes sense. Unless you have to, for some reason, there's no, there's no need to, to give them a bath. Um, the reason we do it is because we want to... Um, introduce them to it, uh, not because yeah. they need it. Oh, where's Phoebe? Um, not because they need it, but because we want them to to learn and not be scared of the bath. So, so you know, before four weeks, their first one. Um, but I don't, I don't particularly feel a need to do it way before then. But Lazy's milk supply is definitely dwindling. Um, and in case you were wondering, you just saw her clean up after them a little bit, but she has now destroyed the wall. <laughs> so <laughs> she's, and this, this room is climate controlled and the rest of the barn isn't. So it's not like we can just leave that door open and we expect it to stay climate controlled in here. We've talked about putting a doggy door in, but, uh, this, this, you, um, whelping up here and raising the puppies up here is. Yeah, I think they're starting to get ready for me. Yeah. Um, hopefully not a, a super long-term solution. Oh, I forgot to do that. I was going to weigh the milk. Is it about how much milk they're going to um, You know what else we have to do is we have to decide what meat we are raising them on. Mm -hmm. um, we have access to grass-fed beef, grass-fed pork, and venison. Um, I might switch it around. I haven't, I haven't really decided. Do you have any thoughts? So today's the day they're going to go to um, uh, twice a day on the goat milk. Up till now, they've only had once a day. So um, they're going to go to twice a day on the goat milk down. Around four or three, or depending on yeah, the whenever. Season. 
<laughs> bowl. Um, so almost enough we have to add anything to the goat milk to feed them that. Um, so you can't just, I would not just um, replace mother's milk with goat milk, if that makes sense. Um, so since this is a supplement, I am not adding anything to it. If it were like if the mom died or, you know, if you had to start supplementing because mom had 20 puppies and didn't have enough milk, then I would be doing more. I would probably for safety sake, to be perfectly honest, which even though I, I hate, I hate formulas, um, in general, I would probably, uh, get a formula just to be on the safe side. Um, I know there are lots of homemade homemade recipes out there. So um, if you're just supplementing, no, just the goat milk. Um, you know, like I said, uh, we'll be adding meat probably. We're gonna decide what meat and then we got a thought. Oh, um, don't drink that. Goat milk, too much goat milk is lacy diarrhea. And she also distracts the puppies. Yeah. So why don't you put that in her bowl and put it her out? <laughs> Who's over here, Rachel? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yes, crawl under your sister. And then, you know, once we introduce the, the raw meat to them, they'll, um, you know, it's, it's a different motion, right? It's the first time that they'll, you know, we'll smush it up really well. Yeah, really well. Like, really well, but it's still a little bit of a different motion for them. So you'll see it'll be, it'll be, weird. it'll be interesting to see how well they take to that. I mean, I had a good a good amount of milk in here. That was a good amount. I was I was pretty impressed. Not as much as yesterday, but the fact that they're going through it. This and they're much. doing. They're starting to do better walking on this flooring. That's Monica, so that's not good that she's not drinking that much. I mean, uh, actually, Phoebe was the only one who didn't gain well. No, oh, I thought you said you were worried about Monica. No, Phoebe. Oh. No, but Monica's doing very well. You said the name Monica. I'm sorry. No, Phoebe's not gaining. Did not gain well. That would make a lot more sense. I was like, I thought oh, look, he was doing pretty well. And Joey, we know he's doing yeah, well. Yeah, Joey is. <laughs> Whatever milk Lacey is giving, Joey is taking it all. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Joey's 2702. Yeah, so he's. So it's it's gone to like. Nine times. Three is 27. Yeah, what's after quadruple? Because one of them... Quintuple? Quintuple, like, dude. Because yeah. one of them did it yesterday, and I was like, I have no idea what to write. <laughs> Quintuple. Quintuple. Or you could just say birth weight times five, too. You could do that also. Jade writes down on the website the puppy's weights and what they're doing. One of them is now five times their birth weight. I think it was, Joey. Yeah. And I was like, you, 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 you've done something. I just don't know. Six to, so 27, 24 should be um, six pounds. He's not reached that yet. He's 27 or two, which means that it has progressed to 330 instead of 310 is the gap between all of them. Well, 328 is correct. She does not know what she wants. She, yeah. and she's in, she wants out, and then she wants. No, I said that right when she's in, she wants out. When she's out, she wants in. And Lacey's now scratching at the door to come in. Look at how well you're walking on that floor. Should I add more? Um, ah, because you are going to feed them again, right? Yeah. Yeah, no. I didn't want to give them diarrhea. Get your feet under you, Rachel. How would that give you diarrhea? I mean, all I mean, their, just, their whole diet. Just a lot, I know. Ooh. <laughs> Did you just trip on the puppy? No. Slip? Slip on the floor. 
All right, you can let her in now. She'll lick them off. All covered in mud. She ate all of it. She, she can have more too. Now you need a bath. All right, well, that's your puppy up to eat for the day. They're doing great. They're getting better on this floor. You know, again, a lot of people say, put mats down, but for the put mats down, no, this is problem solving. Puppies have to learn how to walk on different surfaces. They have to learn how to deal with, with frustration. You don't want to constantly be solving their problems for them, which isn't to say that you can't occasionally come and pick them up and help them get their feet under them, but you don't want to do that all the time. You want them to learn. That's how they strengthen their muscles. That's how they do a lot of stuff. I'm going to clean them off, Lace. So they're doing super, super well. Hey, you just got it up without my help. Good. I'm like, <laughs> Lacey has a piece of hay hanging from her butt that's driving me nuts. <laughs> See it? I don't know where she, what muddy spot she found. Monica's got it like a boss. Me a little boss lady. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to sign off so I can get the mop and start mopping the floor. Well, Jade washes dishes. Sorry, I just gave you a nice butt shot of Jade. Yeah, like a nice butt shot of Jade. I wasn't paying attention. They're going to lick each other off. I'm so proud of them for using the potty. Say goodbye, puppies. sister licking fest going on over here. <laughs> like, oh, you got some. No, you got some. <laughs> um, anybody who wants information on the puppies, go to gmsdogs.com slash puppy. GMS for goat milk stuff, gmsdogs.com slash puppy, and that's got all the information there on that page. Um, there is still one female left, so. <laughs> that's not licking, that's biting. So silly. All right. Have a good day and I will talk to you soon.